Welcome to Activity 41. In this activity, we will be developing the concept that numbers between 10 and 20 can be made up of two parts, a part of 10 and one other part. And these two parts join together to be equal to the whole. We call this a 10 plus bond because the 10 plus the other part bond or join together to be equal to the whole. I'm going to give you an example for the whole of 18. 18 is equal to 10 plus 8. When I fill my 10 frame with counters, I'm going to use something called 5 wise filling. I fill the top row first, working from left to right, because this is worth 5 like one hand. So that would be 15. One more counter would be 16, 17, and then 18. I can see that two more would make 20. I can repeat this representation using bomb blocks on an empty 10 frame. We place the empty 10 frame block with the number 10 on here and this matches these 10 counters. We then place a block that's worth 5 on the top row and a block that's worth 3 on the second row. And I place the 3 on the edge just like these 3 counters so I can see the space of 2 and I could see that the 2 block could fit there. I don't place it in the middle. Let's begin. To complete this activity, you need to place your empty 10 frame block with the number 10 written on it on the frame. You need 20 counters, 10 to place on the 10 frame, and 10 for the scoring track. You also need one of each block from one to five and an additional five block. Player one goes first, they spin, and they say the build as 10 add 8 equals 18. Player 1 fills, remembering to use the 5 wires filling. They fill 15, 16, 17, 18. And they also place a counter on the scoring track to cover 18. Player 2 has their turn. They spin 10 add 9. To make 9, player 2 always uses the bond blocks. Player 1 always uses the counter. So to make 9, they would need 5. And 9 is 1 less than 10, so I would need the 4. And player 2 needs to say 10 add 9 equals 19 and they can place a counter. The aim of the game is to be the player who places the third counter in a row of consecutive counters. So if the next player spins either 17 or 20, they win. Player one's turn. They leave everything on their board and they spin lucky 17. They adjust their 18 to make the 17. They say 10 add 7 equals 17 and they place the winning counter. When you play this game again tomorrow, if you were the player using the counters, when you play again, swap roles and you use the bond blocks and vice versa. If you are using bond blocks, you play next using counters.